an aspect of 100 Years Quest that I didn't expect initially going into it, but I was very happy to just get in general, was the additional information of Acnologia. Like, it doesn't have to be entirely all, like, direct, or, like, a flashback, like, whole sequence. As much as I would have loved one for Alderaan, I'm still hoping we get something of the like in, in terms of that, of just seeing, like, Acnologia during his, like, actual rampage. Igni is a potential, like, showing for that, seeing, like, from its perspective as, like, a child dragon of what it was like when Acnologia was just going around massacring dragons. But, uh, I did a video before on the potential return of Acnologia, and, like, general theories of, like, wait, how would he come back, what would happen if he did, but one of the things that a lot of people wouldn't know if they didn't watch the, the, the additional content that was put in the anime, because, unfortunately, in the manga, you know, due to Behind the scenes stuff that us as the fans don't really know about is what happened near the like later portions of Alvarez when it's like you can tell that the pacing suddenly picked up and Mishima said that he like he had Acnologia's backstory and the origins of him, but we didn't get it in the manga, but they added it in the anime, which was super hype and made me very happy that they were able to add that in uh, before the anime ended. And because of that one of the aspects that a lot of people, unless they watch that part of the anime, don't know is the Acnologia that is primarily known as Acnologia is not the original. We don't know his original name. He took the name Acnologia from who was his mentor, like his version of Igneal to a degree, um, before the dragons of his village turned against all the humans and pretty much made the monster that would later take up the name Acnologia. But one of the things about it is we don't actually see the fate of the original Acnologia. We, we see him come back damaged. This is definitely a really spooky picture of him. Like, when he came back, he's, like, had missing, like, a, a big chunk of his face, but, like, part of it looked like it was, like, almost like a hollow, like, just big actual hole is, like, missing from his... Uh, from, like, the con complete structure of his dome. But we see, like, Acnologia, like, you know, the... The, they have Dragon Slayer Acnologia. Go on his his rampage. You know, you can look up the scenes on, uh, on like, YouTube or look up the episodes. But we see him just kind of, like, killing a bunch of dragons. We see, like, dragons off on the side just getting completely massacred and stuff by him. We never see, though, what happens to the original Acnologia. We don't know if he's alive. We don't know if he's dead. It, it's a complete mystery. And I think Mishima might have done that on purpose in case he wanted to have this character come back and have a moment. Because, like I mentioned, that what we've gotten in 100 years, because that has been really cool, is getting additional information on Acnologia. It doesn't have to be, again, brand new stuff that we've never seen or never even heard of. Getting additional expanding information just gives it a lot more, uh, just a lot more kind of like life to the legend that he was and, and his impact into the story. Because all the Dragon Gods right now, despite how powerful they are and what they're all capable of, one thing they all had in common is they all feared and... and fled from Acnologia. They were all terrified of him. And uh, because of that, like you have to keep in mind everything that kind of connected to it. Because one, one of the aspects of the current arc that I'm really hoping comes into play is because Irene is... Uh, I mean, Irene is, is still technically around. It's, it's weird because like, she, she successfully pretty much cheated death, but not like entirely. I think that's just how she's essentially been able to figure it out without getting cursed or something is, you know, her whole, like, putting her personality into something and getting ready. I would hope to get a new body, but from Celine, Celine, I, I would really like to see her response to Irene if Irene gets her body this arc and uh, makes an appearance, because any of the dragon gods, I, I think primarily, but also any knowledgeable dragon, if they know who Irene was, then there should be either, like, a really strong interaction or at least a very character like detailing one because irene irene is one of the three most important characters to the lore in reality like you can still look at people like oxaram obviously oxaram and stuff was there but like oxaram is, is really just like one part that kind of got the ball rolling whereas like the three most important people you look at zarif acnology and irene they're so story set that you can't have the story if you subtract any of them like, with, with Ankh-Saram and Zeref, it was like, yeah, I mean, he, he obviously caused a lot, but it's it's more of, like, his one thing that he did to Zeref specifically did all these other things. So it's like, yeah, I, I count way more of it being, like, Zeref himself. 
but obviously Irene being the one doing that dragon slaying magic has a lot of uh, a, a lot of weight to where I think a lot of these other characters will respond to it because you know without her Acnologia never would have come to pass and the original Acnologia is also a huge aspect of that the whole result because if you subtract him then the the doctor who later became Acnologia would have never never become the dragon slayer and the the big genocidal monster that he was because say like you you had the original Acnologia return to Montesiqueta after they went to go see the the whole thing about dragon slayers and he's like came back and he's like wow that was terrible but at least we know that the humans of our village aren't that bad and then just kind of like let the doctor heal him and they kind of just lived in secrecy the one that later become Acnologia and it would have never happened dragons would still be in charge of the world and things would be a, like a lot different so a dragon like the original Acnologia is going to be carrying a lot of just weight on his mind and not only that like he I, I feel like he would have a lot of just to say knowing of what what he pretty much caused because he he directly set up the creation of what led his species to near extinction and near destruction of like reality when Akinologi was like saying he was going to surpass the limits of time space and just completely destroy everything so uh, it, it's an aspect that I, I would really like to see because again like I, I, I don't really know what the point it would be just showing specifically he's not dead if there wasn't like a potential at least for him to return like if it's just like if Mishima had it like ah, I could do something with this guy it doesn't mean I have to but I could I, I think it's the more logical way that he would do it rather than just yeah I'll just not show it but I'm never gonna do anything with him who knows I mean that's just one of those things that we would have to ask him directly for or he would have to reveal himself but personally I, I think it'd be way more beneficial to the story if we had him show up like he doesn't even need to be a boss or anything we could just see him talk we just see him talk and describe essentially what he's been doing for the past 400 plus years and how he feels directly creating like the creature that nearly brought dragons to an end and not only that stole his name because we know him as Acnologi because of how he was introduced in the series and that's the name that he goes by but keep in mind if, if the original Acnologi was alive he's gonna be aware that this dude outright took his name and weaponized it so every single time he would ever hear about this dragon he would know who he is he would know obviously by the name that was his is now being directly associated with the apocalypse with the end with not only just dragons but the end of all things so if he comes back i i would love just to have chapters where he just he just talks and we just see from his perspective see how he just gives us a, a a look into his side of things both before everything happened but like post decided to go back and kill the uh, all the humans threatening more dragon stars and how he's been for 400 plus years because it's it'll be a really weird thing to, to just get in general and it's an insight that only really would come from a character like this he's the only person that could give us I have to take a detailed look into who Acnologia like was, who the the Dragon Slayer Acnologia. What was he like beforehand? Also, what is his name? I don't know. I, I kind of would be fine if we never find out his real name and we just go with him as being Acnologia, considering he pretty much made it his name. But it it's still one of the more intriguing aspects I think that's currently in the dark of the series. Like obviously stuff like Anxarab, like the One Magic. Those are things that are large scale really important that you know who knows if we're gonna ever get like deep dives into those or they'll be left mysterious and ambiguous but a character like this i, I feel like the be most beneficial way the best way to that we could get a continuation of it is just having info dumps from this dude having bits where he just tells us about like what the doctor was like before we came back to logi and how this guy has been responding and thinking about all this for 400 plus years if he's still alive somewhere could be maybe he's wherever Viernes is hiding out maybe there's some dragons there he's been protecting and keeping safeguarded from uh, hopefully being found out by um Acnologia or any dragon slayers because he'd also fear dragon slayers in general too not just uh you know Acnologia. but anyway other than that comment below thumbs up the video button like and subscribe and check out my other videos but on that I appreciate everybody's already subscribed thank you all for listening bye